big one. Uh, you know what, Sam? It's the last one of the pot of the year. Why don't you do the honors? I honor? was hoping you're going to say that. Ready? Three, two, one. That's it. That's what we need. Woo! Kicking off the final podcast of 2022. Welcome to Little Talks. I can't believe it. I'm Roop. Oh. Sam's here. Sam is here. Someone's not here. Someone's we'll talk not. about that later. <laughs> well, she's got a decent excuse. Yeah. So um, the last podcast of the year, man. Yeah. So, hey. Fist, fist pounds. Fist pounds. For those not watching the video, it's still the old fist pound. We celebrated this at Bull in the Alley in a way we, we, a we did. month ago. Yes. And there's been so much happening since. We had a nice steak dinner. Great steak dinner. We had a few drinks. Quite a few drinks. And then we immediately went into the busiest <laughs> four Literally to five weeks of the agency history. Lordy. Maybe. And it was awesome. I mean, it was. Yeah, it was I mean, a lot. This, but it was it was awesome. I, I feel agree. like it's kind of nice this week as we, you know, we've got two full business, or I guess a business day and a half left because we're closing at noon on Friday. Yep. For a nice, uh, for those listening, I think most of you know, but we uh, give the agency off from Christmas Eve through the new year. Very generously. A nice, uh, a nice time to recharge those batteries, enjoy some family. But uh, this week has been a little manageable in the sense that I can tie up some loose ends. You know, I'll check email over break, but I feel like it's it it seems a little more calm up yeah, here. You know why? There's not as many meetings. I think that and there's something to be I mean, said about that. I'm really that. enjoying it. It's yeah. like every day is uh, no meetings day. Wow, what a We thought. have a no meetings day that's here. Wild. We'll talk about that next year. <laughs> uh, but every day feels that way, and it's been really nice. I agree. I'm getting a ton done here at the end and, and actually working ahead into the next year, which feels good. I know. Yeah. No, yeah. It's, I saw it you said yesterday on, for a client. Um, Roop. We, have a, we do have a script. We do want to kind of finish off. By the way, no digital trends today. No digital trends. We're keeping no, it fun no. and light. You'll get digital trends, I think, January 3rd. Yep. I just set them up yesterday. Um, yeah, sneak, January 3rd. sneak preview. It's... Yeah, Probably sixty percent Twitter, <laughs> uh, and Lord knows well, and how much. Some interesting TikTok stuff too. There is some too. Yeah, um, I'm worried that between now and January third, there will have been so much change. Even at tw- Twitter's change right now is like every hour something new is new feature, <laughs> new product, reversing it, going the other way, controversy. There's always That's exactly going why on. we do this podcast. That's yeah. exactly why we started these trends. But but we're we not talking about those today. No no no, we're not doing those today. Okay, so Rube, first thing on the script. Start it off, dude. We had the holiday party on Friday. Great mother of God. And it's always the thing we all look forward to. 100%. It's, it's, the only way it could be better is if it's the very last day before we go into the, into Which, the week. And that's what's happening in 2023, we found out. I can't even fathom slash imagine what 2023, considering it's, yeah. 2022 was wild. Yeah, it was a lot. I, um, I, you know, I was talking to folks, I was talking to Sydney and uh, Taylor about this and I said, I remember parts of it, but I don't remember being like out of it or anything. But like, I was like, oh, when we did the Dirty Santa or the, the gift raffle, yeah. I said, I, who, someone got a TV. I don't remember who it was. <laughs> and they're like, I was like, wait, what did I, oh, I had the iPad, but how did I get the iPad? Because I didn't, like, I don't remember a lot of it. And at some point I saw a photo of you standing on a table. Yeah, I, I don't uh, remember that. No, it was on Arms the fireplace. Out. Yeah. Arms oh, out. Car place, yeah. I was very excited because Reynolds won the wheel and she won four hundred bucks. Oh, Reynolds yeah. did win the wheel. Ren- yeah, she won the wheel and claimed four hundo. Last year, Katie Kite claimed three hundo. Was I? A, did you see me? Was I asleep during? No, 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 you were there. I was conscious. Oh, you're, you're, I, but you know though, so to paint a picture, right? So we we start off the holiday party. Um, you, we go up to the Summit Club, the thirty second floor, well, for, which is the for, penthouse. First, though, we first we do a breakfast shot, breakfast at, the shot at the agency. We take our annual agency Christmas photo, which you can when you visit the office, you can see it's yeah, uh, we'll see that. it's over on the family photos. That's now. exactly right. Um, then we go to the Summit Club. We have a couple cocktails. Um, then we all sit down. We eat lunch. Um, there's there's steak, there's chicken, there's salmon. Really good lunch. I had the steak, I believe. And it then was good. yep, I, and the steak was tasty. But we uh, throughout lunch we do um, most embarrassing stories for our new employees, which is always just a hoot. And that everyone did a good job this yeah. year. Yeah, they were really good. The I, I do remember crazy those. No. wild stories. And there were a lot. There were a lot of people. Were, this year. Yeah, five this year. Um, and then we get into reverse money raffle, which is everyone brings some money. It, it, you know, there's it's hard to explain, but it's a fun fun game. Yeah. Then we do Christmas presents on behalf of the agency. Some really cool prizes and presents. Um, but what was crazy. Is and then of course the wheel, the money wheel, um, money wheel. which I is from a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars, and Reynolds won four hundred. Um, what was crazy was the trade deals happening after the Christmas I, yeah. giveaway. Yeah, I, there, we, I Julie think Swab was on the phone consulting with her husband. She was, and and if, oh, that's what happened. You know yes. what? I had originally had a gift card. Here's what happened. I wanted the space heater. <laughs> Rocco locked it. He got it. Yep, he locked it. I got in trouble for that later for my wife. That's a whole other podcast. I can't, I can't handle that. Um, I had the gift cards, but I kind of wanted the iPad. And, and Julie looked at me and goes, do you want this iPad? Yeah. And I go, well, yeah. And you got the iPad, right? 
yeah, and but I but I said, wait a minute, I don't believe that you're giving this away. And she said, no, no, my husband said it's fine. So I said, well, can you FaceTime him? <laughs> I guess I was out of it. So can you FaceTime him so I can see him way, say it? Her lovely husband is at work at a law firm. Right, right. But, <laughs> but he for the took DA, the time, actually. and so he, yeah, he's like, no, you can have the iPad. I want the the gift card. Uh, I think it was to Hal uh, Restaurant, Hal, Hal yeah. Smith, yeah, mm-hmm. which is also great. Um, so anyhow, yeah, there was a lot of horse and trading if going you want, on. Um, if you want a really good picture, right? We're probably not doing it justice no. talking about. Go to our TikTok and yeah. look at the video that was posted by... Is the Chelsea moment on oh there? Oh, my god! Because she was kind of upset about it. it. <laughs> She's upset about it. It's like, Chelsea, you th- did it. hey, this is why we all love you. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I, I don't want... And I was like, no, Chelsea, this is you. We yeah. got to showcase yeah. it to the world. It paints a really wonderful picture of just the, the overall vibe of the agency on it's fun. last Friday. It's it was a, fun. It's a lot of fun. It was I've a been, heck of a time. I, it's always fun, and it was fun this year, and it'll be fun next year, and it's the thing we all look forward to. We springboarded off that. Monday, we did. Uh, we bowled with Ditch Witch. They came over. We took two days to recoup. Yes. Came back strong on Monday. Came back strong. And um, had a beer on, on Monday. And then came in with our annual Ditch Witch. Yeah. Group party. This was yeah had a had a great time. They uh, yeah. m- most of their teams you know there's a lot of sickness going around as most of you know. Yeah. Um and so some of the team members were sick, but a majority of them were there. Uh, dude, dude, what you what you bowl? You bowled like a one. You want to know something? I bowled. My first game was a one twenty two. My yeah. second one is a one fifty nine. Okay, one forty eight. And my third game I think was one sixty four. Yeah, that's fantastic. You're trending in the right direction. I was not the winner of any of those. Every well, was, was I in the last one? I don't remember. You I think, kicked our ass. I, I what happened was the first game, I think Tom bowled out of his skull. The second game, uh, Brock had like a one eighty nine. He had a four strikes. Four strikes, which is called which a, is ham bone. a ham bone. Yeah, we found that out. Um, but yeah, it was it, our our lane was just bowling out of skull, and so was Taylor and Natasha and Sydney and um, uh, Brenda. Their, that side was also bowling shockingly well. It was boys versus girls, and I thought, well, this might be – I don't want to be sexist, but I thought this might be a little unfair. I've bowled, and I think Taylor Tom's bowled. Taylor kicked everyone's ass. Taylor was very strong at bowling, yes. There we was even a, had a client so, And so was Natasha. Was Natasha like, wow, was Taylor. also yeah, – Yeah, Natasha had a good one. We found out her too. grandfather bowled, and she believes it's genetic. <laughs> she said that. <laughs> By the way, Natasha, AK, we call her Natalie now, and she just hates it. Oh. <laughs> Rocco accidentally called her Natalie at the Christmas party, and I just about fell out of my chair. <laughs> um, but anywho, she's, she is the most interesting family lineage, so – Great bowling day. Yeah, um, it was fun. So now we're going to transition into some podcast stats. Okay. Yeah, I, we printed these. I just read, redid these right yeah. before we came on. So, um, you know, we had 100, was it 150 to get the bowl, bowl in the Alley dinner? We have 226 as total of, subscribers. As of today, December 21st, we have 226 subscribers, and we've had uh, almost 2,700 listens from that group. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, for our first ever podcast, and we don't even really promote these except on social media, which is really our following. <laughs> right. So, again, thank and, you for our listeners. That's, yeah. That's wonderful. And I will tell you the majority of listens happen on, uh, well, the majority of followers happens, of course, on Apple's podcast, um, but the Spotify, Spotify podcast is actually the number which one follower. That's where follower. I listen on for us. That's where I listen, yeah. too. Um, Sound- SoundCloud has the most, the second most streams, but like, a lower street. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, but yeah it's it, Apple it's, and Spotify. Yeah, SoundCloud is embedded on the landing page, so when you land, that oh, that's it. That's the one we're using. I think, that, I think that's it. So yeah, th- we had we had we had a good year stats wise. We'll we'll s- seek to double that next year. And we're not going to go through each episode. Um, yeah, we we printed out individual stats. So the should we start with number one? Uh, I mean it's it's the one that we. I mean yeah. I'll say this. I printed out the top. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Top twelve episodes. The word Chelsea is in four of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the, but they're not in all near the, near the top. There's no. one. The Return of Chelsea Clement one. May twenty fifth episodes are most listened to lifetime podcast. There is uh, three three hundred and fifty listeners. Yeah. Um, since Streams. May twenty fifth. However, though, our special guest Trent. Uh, he has already racked up fifty three. Yeah, he's he's up there. He's, and he's, he's our newest. He's knocking on the door, and uh, yeah, that's our, our one of our newer podcasts. So I'll be I'll be interested to see because that's uh, you know, that into, re- into Q one. What what does this look like? Is more and more that one could listen. have legs, as yeah. they say. And um, uh, yeah, number one was Chelsea May twenty fifth. Uh, our second most popular was your video content needs to evolve. Yeah, so uh, that was a good one on topic April thirteenth, and then April twentieth. The latest Google search and influencer marketing trends. So, so I actually remember that one. I, that was probably I, one of our stronger content yeah, ones. Yeah, very relevant, I think, at the time. 
Yeah, they were good. So yeah, so Chelsea doesn't own every episode. No, 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 no. Yeah, but she does own no, the top one, unfortunately. No um, I think maybe one of those other two was when her sister was here, though. I don't remember which one that was. It could be around there, though. Yeah, let's just go ahead and yeah, Amy. Yeah, Amy I think Mosh. It, it might have been the influencer trend. In she fact, just, she you know just what? celebrated her twenty first birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Mames, Mames is twenty one. Yeah, living it up in Wisconsin. Getting but uh, no, it's uh, it was it was a great year. Podcast, yeah. the business, I can't our clients. Believe, I can't believe we did this every Wednesday. Dude, we did this every Wednesday. Minus one when you were in, um, when I was out sick. We missed that week because you were uh, on, where were you? Um, vacation, I think. Yeah, you were on vacation. Yeah, yeah you are in San Francisco. Yeah, I was. Because yeah. you even went live at, uh, in Boston. I was in Boston, yeah. Um, I came up here with, uh, my son Ben is staying in the guest room. I'm really happy. He's in from, oh, nice. from Ar- Arkansas. University of Arkansas. Yeah. yeah. And he's, he's staying in his old room and we got him all set up there last night and he came in and he, he didn't have a monitor for his computer. He had one, but it didn't have a stand. And I said, Hey, coincidentally, they were giving away monitors today at work. We have old monitors. Oh, cool. We yeah, get, yeah, instead sure. of throwing them away, they ben get one. one. Yeah. I brought him up here to look at it, see if he'd work. He took one of the Apple ones, but we, he said, Oh, I haven't seen the office in a while. Uh, you, would you walk me around? I felt like you giving a tour. And I said, oh, sure, absolutely. We start over here. And so I gave him the tour of the what office. Was this? Last night. Oh, last night. Yeah, okay. it was probably like 8 yeah. o'clock. Uh, you know, and uh, so we came by the podcast room. And he goes, wasn't this the room where everyone has to go in and be quiet? And I go, yeah, well, it's still that. <laughs> it's also, it's the, the studio. And he said, do you do this every week? And like just mm. shocked. And I said, yeah. He, he says, well, I said, we'll do them on Wednesdays at 9. He goes, tomorrow morning you're waking up and going into the office. I'm going live. And you're, Yeah. He was blown away. He said, I can't believe you do that. I said, I can't either. <laughs> That's I don't know, a man, lot. Like, I feel it's, uh, not to get too sentimental, but it's really bonded you and I. I think we've I, definitely come a yeah. lot closer. Not that we weren't close before, but I mean, do, doing this, and by the way, kudos, Roop, the prep work that goes into this, right? And then we go go off this. Roop goes into editing. I write this. I write uh, the write-up that you see on yep. our landing page at littlefieldagency.com, and it's a lot of work, but I've, I've really enjoyed it. I like. I don't look at it as work. No. It's... it's it is an enjoy. It's, I, I, I tell everyone when we tour and I, we walk past the studios. My favorite part of the week is nine a.m. on Wednesday morning. It, it's a, it's a good time. I, I don't disagree with that. I, I would say I put a little. I have a little more worry than you do on Wednesday mornings, just because I'm worried about the sound quality. Yeah, well, <laughs> but that's my voice's problem. But we're, but we're looking at no, some it's not your voice enhancements. We are. Um, but yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. I do look forward to it. We've hit a rhythm. It's been a lot of fun. I think it's only going to get better next oh, year. 100%. Being honest, be, truly being honest about it. And uh, I agree. This has been a lot of fun. I think we we teach each other a lot on here. No, absolutely. And it, it may, makes us smarter marketers, which of course, as we approach twenty twenty three, is the goal. Um, you know, we've we've got a lot of great things going on here at the agency. We have wonderful things going on with our clients. We've got a, a great pipeline going on on the new business front. Like, there's some cool things happening. The the culture here. I mean, I think the Christmas party was evidence. Yeah. That uh, there's something pretty sweet here, man. It's yeah. it's fun. Yeah, I I I I've never a here. dull moment. I'm coming on in year eleven, and uh, it, I still feel new. Yeah, no, so that's, that that says cool. something about the yeah, energy, that's the, the energy and the and it's refreshing. So, Rube, let's kind of round us out here with uh, the final item on the, final the list, which is called Chelsea's holiday yeah. wishes. So originally, the the, the way the podcast really script was written was that the final item was Chelsea's holiday wishes, and we were going to have Chelsea come in and just babble for. Yeah. Who knows how Five long? Five minutes, ten yeah. minutes. We ask her about how her podcast is going. Um, but <laughs> there's a snowstorm coming across the country, apparently. The massive snowstorm headed right to the right? center of Chicago yeah. and Wisconsin, and that is where that's where she's. That's where a few people going. are going. So a lot of folks moved their planes up a day. They're they're traveling Chelsea's today. Actually, yeah, she's bo- she's boarding right boarding now. boarding right now. Yeah. They're they're trying to get out of town, and so Chelsea was one of those that abandoned us for her family. But I completely understand it. So maybe we would. What would you? Th- maybe we should do this. What do you think Chelsea's holiday wishes would be? Oh man, I know what one um, of them is. I'm gonna say she probably would like more sleep next year. Okay, she didn't get much sleep this year. Um, so that's one thing on the personal front. As I look at professional, I'm trying to think. She probably would wish that I don't scare her as much. I love scaring <laughs> the you know what out of her. It's just hilarious. I got her really good the other day. But uh, I don't know. What, what about you? I think professionally, she would probably be happy if um, <laughs> she'd probably be happy if if she didn't have to wrestle me into her good ideas. <laughs> like she has, she we get together, we chat yeah. about stuff, we go over you stuff, guys, you and, chat a lot. and um, a bit, I feel like she 
takes her a while to get me to understand what she wants, but I feel like it's more my problem and not hers. So she probably wish would wish for more understanding for Rupert. And you know what? I'm going to try to give that to her in 2023. Now, the, per, the, the, the other thing I think I know she would wish for is that nobody goes to TikTok to look at that video that she's in. <laughs> 100% and, and, and we see asked how the holiday you, party went but we want you to we that's asked, our holiday wish and the most important thing wait until the end of that video yeah stick with it stick with it because it is worth it's it's a longer video yeah but my goodness gracious the way that that thing wraps it is worth you, 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 every second of your if you're <laughs> a, if you're a Chelsea fan at all you'll want to watch this one <laughs> and again that's going to be on our TikTok channel not the other channel yeah it's not on Instagram it's TikTok, not on Facebook TikTok exclusive but you will see uh, Chelsea Nuts roasting on an open fire yeah it's, Live and Adam. It she's <laughs> I don't remember this happening, but I'm glad it was documented. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, I yeah, it was it's it's amazing. And, um, s- and send her a note after you've seen it. And just please, let her know. Please let her, shoot her a text. And, and if you want to copy us on that text <laughs> and add a little Rupster and Sammy, that'd be that'd be great. Um guys, we're very thankful for our listeners. We know we have some dedicated listeners that tune in every week. Yep. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw out some names. Trent, Mike, and John, you regularly listen, and we are very thankful for that. Um, We've gotten closer to you all over the last year just in some of the bonding and some of the texts we get from you, the emails. Yeah. Thought-provoking, you know, hey, how does this apply to our brand? That stuff I love. Yeah. So thank you, three, to our other listeners that we're not specifically calling out. Shoot us a text. Email. Maybe hit us up in a comment. Smoke signal. Yeah. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll give you a shout-out. But, guys, it's been a wonderful year, and we ask that uh, we hope – they have a wonderful Christmas and holiday break. Recharge those batteries. Enjoy the family. Enjoy some good food and drinks. And 2023 is going to be here before we know it, and we are ready to hit that ground running. And we'll be back. And we will be back, baby. <laughs> Better than ever. Better than ever. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Rupster, I love you. And we're out. Bye-bye. Adios. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.